hey guys welcome on my youtube channel everything technical this is deepak so i have come with the new topic that is nagus so we will see in this video what is nagus how it's work and uh, what configuration what packages it's required to install the nagus so we will see in this video so before i start it i want you to please do subscribe my youtube channel this is my channel everything technical please do subscribe and also please press the bell icon to get the new video notification and if you have any query any suggestion related the video so please do comment below the video so let's start with the video so basically what is nagus so nagus it's a basically monitoring tool so through the nagus we have to install somewhere the nagus and somewhere uh, in in any of one servers we have to make and install the nagus server as a nagus and rest of all how many servers we want to monitor through the nagus we have to install into that as a nrp so basically uh, nagus act as a parent and nrp act as a child so through the through the nagus it's monitor all the child servers that is uh, what are installed and uh, into the servers that is nrp so basically we will monitor so first of all we will we will, we have to look how it is nagus look like so this is the nagus it's a ui part into the browser we can see this is the nagus the page so when we will open this will look like this nagus code and we have multiple option here documentation technical overview map host services host group so we can uh, whatever we will set into the nagus that all we can mo uh, we can see from here so basically we will see here we have a host so how many host or clients are configured un under the nagus we will get the list over here so here we have the local host which denotes itself of the nagus master and we have one more server that is test so that means it's it is a uh, it is a client server that is child so in which nrp is installed so this is the host listing so we can identify how many clients are configured for this server for the nagios into the nagios and here we have the services option so in a services basically we will get that list through that server like in that server how many services we are uh, we are monitoring from that server so for example into the test that is a client server so in clients we are monitoring ping status and partition root partition status so this basically this is the service we are monitoring so through the nagios we can monitor this this services basically we have the services we have multiple we have many more services also either you can create your own plugins writing bash scripts so you can monitor that also so this is the basically the nagios and nrp so what are the ports what are the packages and requires so now here the port as talking to the port into the nagios master so nagios master use basically http uh, https snmp and ssh server ssh service so basically this is the this are the major services which uh, major plugins or service which is used by the nagios and uh, like the port, if we we will if we will talk about the port numbers, so HTTP eighty port, HTTPS four four three port, SNMP one sixty one and one sixty two port, and SSH is twenty two port. So NRP also use five triple six port. So NRP is working on five triple six port. So NRP is also using five triple six port. So this is the video about the Nagios and NRP. What is Nagios? so b basically after installing these things what we have to check how many configuration file we have to do uh, into the nagios master so first of all we will see into the nagios master so i'll show the screen for the nagios master so i'll show you the screen here if i'll go ahead into the if you're installing the nagios so by default location will be a usr local nagios so this is the location where uh, the nagios will be installed the master will be installed so under this we will get these options bin etc include as we ensure where our lib ex is he so these are the directories so basically we have to work on etc so here etc like i'll go ahead and i'll let him know so here we have the directory to 
so here we have a bin directory so in a bin directory we are getting all the binaries file in etc we will get the configuration file and in includes we have a few more like we will check it what it is includes so includes doesn't have anything seems for the yet so I'll check ahead in live exes so here in live ex so we basically in live exes we will get all the plugins Nagus plugins under this directory so we'll go ahead in next for the next as been as a you know the secure binaries share and where there is few more directories so I'll go into the etc so we will talk about the etc so into the etc we have mainly we have to work on etc only so here etc we have few more uh, files that is inside the etc we will get the nagus cfg nagus.cfg object one more directory and we have to check so basically here nagus.cfg is that file which we have to configure to uh, if we are just customizing on nagus so we have to work with that nagus so i'll show the look of the nagus.cfg we will check the nagus.cfg we have to mainly work on this cfg file if we, if we are uh, like if we are making any uh, our customized file so that we have to do the configuration under this so this is the basically all about the configuration so what we have that object directory so inside the object directories we will get all the configuration of the for example command configuration host configuration host group configuration contact configuration uh, services configuration host configuration host group configuration so these all are we will get under this directory so here we have only single directory for yet so we can split this directory uh, split this file to the multiple files and we can work on that particular files and we can as, uh, we can configure that file into the nagus.cfg configuration what we have seen over here nagus.cfg so inside of the nagus.cfg we have to define instead of host.cfg we can uh, create our own file host.cfg local instead of localhost we can write our host.cfg service.cfg host group.cfg services.cfg command commands.cfg contacts dot service uh, contact dot services so these all if you want to create if you want to uh, work on uh, in separate files so you can do that and configure that things into this file so this is all about the nagios master so inside of the if we will talk about the nrp so inside of the nrp what we have to do we have to check cd usr after installing so we have the option like see uh, we are getting the option i'll show over here so so this is the same uh, in usr local nagios the same directory you will get also inside the nrp in client and inside of this you will get the same directory as a etc so under etc you will get the file name as a nrpe.cfg this is the file you will get inside of the client location so inside of this file we will get two configuration uh, we have to pass a two configure things which is the allowed host which we have to give these master serve uh, nagios master ip address or either the host name and the second thing we have the option for don't underscore flame so so this will be uh, don't underscore blame will be a value of zero we have to replace it with the one so this is the configuration we have to do into the nagios and nagios uh, client into the nagios master and into the client so we can do all these things so easily we can monitor our nagios uh, we can uh, uh, we can monitor multiple of the linux servers in through the nagios we can monitor the windows servers we can monitor switches we can mo monitor routers through this uh, nagios which we have to do the configuration inside of the nagios master and also we have to do few few more configuration through the client so this is the video about the nagios what is Nag nagios if you like my videos please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel this is my channel everything technical please subscribe and share with your friends who having requirement of this kind of information thank you for watching my video